Hometown MVP, brought to you by Nissan and your local Nissan dealers. Hello, everybody. Mental illness is real, and so many of our loved ones deal with it every day. But now, more than ever before, so many pro athletes are opening up about their struggle with the disease in order to help raise awareness. Back in February, I sat down with Jacksonville native and Atlanta Falcons tight end Hayden Hurst as he opened up about his battle with depression and anxiety and how he attempted to take his own life. Well, tonight I'm sitting down with Jaguars wide receiver DJ Chark, who opens up about his struggle with anxiety, how it affects him, how he deals with it, but most importantly, how he's using it to help others here on our first coast in tonight's hometown MVP feature. Third-year wide receiver DJ Chark is the Jaguars' number one wideout who emerged as the team's top receiver in 2019. He made the Pro Bowl that same year, catching more than 70 passes, 4,008 yards, and eight touchdowns. Pump it, that fires end zone, caught! Touchdown, Chark again! But. Something that... Uh, I've dealt with my whole life. It's something that I didn't realize I was dealing with it until you know, some light was shined on it. That something is anxiety. Chark's battle with anxiety started in high school. He says it got progressively worse during his time at LSU. I went inward a lot. Also, performance-based anxieties, just wondering if I was good enough to um, do it this game because I did it, you know, two games before. When can I do it again? Wondering, you know, just all wondering about a lot of things that I couldn't control. And what triggers it? What usually triggers the fear, the anxiety? For me, it's not being good enough, whether that's in life or football or assuming that you know, if things are going good, it's only going good for so long. Kind of get to the point where you feel like you don't really deserve happiness. Originally, Chark did not know he was dealing with anxiety. In fact, it was not until his sophomore year at LSU that he spoke with the team's sports trainers who referred him to a therapist. But he admits even then he still tried to fix it on his own. And I realized that some things, you know, you have to be able to work through. And I was able to talk to my problems, also get prescribed medicine to help me. Why did you decide to open up and share the things that you truly face? I do know it's a lot of people that deals with this. Uh, so I feel like I'm in a good spot for whoever wants to listen. If somebody is willing to listen, I'm willing to be there to help. His message for those who are dealing with anxiety. Um, that you're not alone. I think the biggest thing is whenever I do speak on these type of topics, people come out of nowhere and they're like, thank you for speaking on it. And, you know, I, it makes you feel good that you did it, but also I feel like there's not enough people speaking on it. Y'all should open up more about it, no matter what, what level of anxiety that you're experiencing or depression that you're experiencing, we all should show that we all are human. Open up and talk about it. We've heard those who struggle with mental illness say that time and time again. DJ Chark credits his wife and his faith for helping him to deal with anxiety. He says he has not been able to get out and speak and help in the community as much as he'd like because of the coronavirus pandemic. Big ups to you, DJ Chark.